Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to Reseller Toolkit. So today, as you can see, we are not in the normal display area. We are actually centered in the corner of the room to review this monstrous bit of bubble wrap here. So this is sealed air and these are three rolls of 50 meters by 500 millimeters of big bubble wrap. So this is not the smaller bubble wrap, this is the bigger bubble wrap. And while I don't believe this is marketed as easy tear bubble wrap, meaning that you can tear it off quite easily, obviously, um, it is very, very easy to tear. It's very, very easy to work with. Um, you don't necessarily need a knife to tear it off or anything like that. Um, and yeah, I've always been a big lover of this bubble wrap. I've used it for a very, very long time. I got turned on to it by Caroline of the Celtic Traders and since then i've just loved it and i've used it a lot now this is coming in at 35 pound 95 on ebay for the full thing you can see in front of you there and i am going to actually pan downwards so you can see the full uh, item but obviously it just won't fit on the camera because it is so big in one shot of course now this used to be coming in at 34.95 but over the past month or two, they've uh, upped the price to £35.95, which isn't too bad. Obviously, it's only a pound more, and I really do like this bubble wrap. Now, this does last you quite a while. Um, for me personally, more recently, because I've actually been quite um, busy in my business recently and been packaging up quite a lot of stuff, this has maybe lasted me two to three weeks. But sometimes this can actually last me on a really, really slow period. It can last me four or five weeks, something like that. And it really does depend on how much you're selling. I mean, in a month, I typically sell, what, about 150 items, 120 to 150 items, something like that anyway. Um, so... Of course, I'm selling quite a lot of items, so obviously I do need quite a lot of bubble wrap. But this will, um, you know, it will keep for quite a while and it will get you um, quite a lot of parcels out of it, essentially. So it's well worth, I would say, the £35.95. But what I'm just going to do is quickly pan downwards for you now. I do apologise if the camera is a little bit shaky. But you can see there, it is a monstrous item. I don't know how well this is coming out on camera, but it is a big thing. Um, it's about five foot tall in total. And this plastic here, I don't know whether I mentioned, is the original plastic it gets shipped in. Um, and I've not really opened it or done anything with it yet. I wanted to do a better review for you guys. I wanted you, you to see it uh, in unboxed fashion. So I'm just going to leave the camera there. Again, I apologize for that little bit of shakiness there. So what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to cut down uh, the plastic and get the three rolls separated. So then you can see what one of the rolls looks like. And also what I'm going to do is then go back over to the display area, tear a little bit of it off for you, and then do a little bit of a look at uh, just at one of the sheets of bubble wrap, essentially, from one of the rolls. So that being said, let's get this uh, uncovered. So as you can see, I've taken it out of its packaging now, and there is one of the rolls in front of you. You can see it is a pretty large roll. I've not really got any size comparison other than that picture on the wall there um but yeah it's a pretty big roll i would imagine it's about 70 centimeters wide or something like that i don't know from from this angle here from that side to that side possibly even a little bit more but yeah i would say maybe around 70 to 80 centimeters wide it is a pretty big roll anyway and as you can see it is the big bubbles as well you might not be able to catch that completely here but when we move over to the, the display area you will be able to catch that so these rolls actually come slightly joined together so you do actually have to kind of ply one of the rolls up or lift one of the rolls up uh, get some scissors and then cut a little bit of the plastic that holds them together and then you can obviously separate the rolls i would advise separating the rolls because it's a little bit easier for storage so you're not having to just have one big cylindrical tube of bubble wrap. You can actually separate them out and then it might help you with uh, storage issues and you might actually be able to store these a little bit more effectively. So now we've had a little bit of a look at, I suppose, one of the cross sections of the rolls here. Um, we're going to go onto the display area and just have a look at it in a little bit more detail, just one little small portion of the bubble wrap. 
So we are on the display area now and as you can see I've taken a sample from the first layer of one of the rolls. Now it's important to state because of the way uh, this company chooses to ship these bubble wrap rolls that the first layer is never going to be brilliant because obviously it comes in that plastic wrap and therefore if it's being kind of thrown around a little bit in transit some of the bubbles on the first layer are never going to be brilliant. So I'm just going to show you what this kind of bubble wrap looks like. As I say this is the first layer of one of the rolls so you can see there's a little bit of wear on these bubbles. As you go further down the layers the bubbles become a little bit firmer and a little bit stronger as well but you can see here even on the first roll uh, on the first layer we can see that the bubbles are pretty strong and I'm just gonna pop one of these for you just because I think it's funny as well uh, but yeah there you go so one of them's popped there um, and yeah you can see that they're pretty firm when we push down on them they're all pretty pretty decent but as I say with this being the first layer some of them are maybe a little bit slack not as good as further down in the roll so it's always good to get big bubble wrap in my opinion because you seem to use less of it when you're wrapping items and things like that when you're wrapping items with a smaller bubble wrap you tend to need to go around a few more times to be satisfied but what I'm going to do here is I've just got this sort of wooden stamp here and I'm going to show you how much protection just this little piece here would give of, of bubble wrap so if I go around here really you only need that you don't really need any more than that but if I were to go around here like that you can see that it gives it a lot of protection it really does and if we were to fold these over or somehow uh, push these in a little bit further you could see how that would give it a lot of protection and this piece here I've chose isn't very big it's not a huge piece or anything but you can see it would give it quite a bit of protection I'm just going to kind of show you here as well it's going to give it a lot of protection that so you can see how you would need to use maybe less bubble wrap and you, you wouldn't even need to use that much to be honest on on something like this but essentially you could see from that how you might only need to use a little bit less than if you are using that smaller bubble wrap you may need to go around quite a few times but also if you get smaller bubble wrap what some of the um, smaller bubble wraps that I used to use in the past were, weren't brilliant brilliant quality and therefore I would need to wrap around quite a few times anyway just because I wasn't satisfied with the amount of protection that I was giving my items so I've been swapping and changing with bubble wraps especially small bubble wraps when I was doing the smaller bubble wraps for quite a while and I never really felt a hundred percent satisfied with some of the smaller options that I had um, and then as I say I got turned on to this bubble wrap and I have absolutely loved using this now as I say there can be a tendency um, to use a little bit more than this than you need um, because let's say you're used to dealing with the smaller bubble wrap you may be used to wrapping around an item quite a few times and you may get into that habit with the big, bigger bubble wrap of just wrapping around quite a lot but you don't need to you know you need to essentially just rein it back a bit and think to yourself well actually I'm using big bubble wrap now I don't need to wrap around as many times and it is definitely true you really don't need to use as much of it to satisfy the same needs as let's say a smaller bubble wrap so that's one advantage of buying a bigger bubble wrap over a smaller bubble wrap but I am probably at some point going to do a uh, review on a smaller bubble wrap that I'm going to choose as well and then we can compare we can see you know what things might be better to wrap with a smaller bubble wrap compared with a bigger bubble wrap the thing is with this bubble wrap specifically is that wrapping certain items can be a little bit cumbersome let's say the bubble wrap doesn't necessarily fit around them as nicely as a smaller bubble wrap may do so something like this although this is quite a good bubble wrap to use and you will only need to use less of it something like this might be better for a smaller bubble wrap because the smaller bubble wrap is easier to deal with it doesn't make it so large but the downfall really here is that as i say when we're wrapping round this item here is slowly growing in size quite a lot whereas if you wrapped it around with a smaller bubble wrap it wouldn't grow in size as much and therefore you wouldn't need to put it in a larger box if that's the case so that's one downfall of using big bubble wrap because 
you may actually find that your items are a lot bigger once you've wrapped them in the big bubble wrap and therefore you may need to use a bigger box or something like that. But ultimately the one huge benefit and the benefit that we're all kind of after is protection of items. And that's what big bubble wrap brings to the table. It brings to the table a lot better um, protection of items and it really strengthens your items as well in the box and it makes sure that they are wrapped up well. So yeah, just check it out if you'd like to, look around for different options if you'd like to, uh, check out a few of the different reviews of other bubble wraps as well, I would encourage you to do that. And then make an informed choice yourself on whether you want to try this out or whether you'd like to try out another bubble wrap. But yeah, I've been using it for quite a while now and it's pretty decent. Now the link down below will be to this listing that I buy from. But also, the good thing about this listing is it's a 24-hour courier. Now, it does specify on the listing that it's a 24-hour courier. However, sometimes it does take 48 hours to come. Obviously, if you're ordering it at a weekend, it will most probably take 48 hours. But also, I've ordered in the past on a Tuesday, and sometimes it's come on the Thursday. Or I've ordered on a Monday and sometimes it's come on the Wednesday. So just bear that in mind. But it is a fairly fast dispatch and fast turnaround. Um, so yeah, pretty decent bubble wrap. That is the review anyway today. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. So I will see you very soon, guys. <laughs>